Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TBMI. It is Thursday, October 22nd, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I must begin today by giving a thumbs up to the New York Mets, who swept the Chicago Cubs in a 4-0 to series, and the Mets are now entering into the World Series. This is the most exciting time for the New York Mets, I think, since 1969, which I remember like it was yesterday. Let's go Mets. Sadly, I must report on the passing of actor, comedian, and businessman Marty Ingalls, who died on Wednesday due to a massive stroke. He was 79 years old. He was married to actress Shirley Jones for almost 40 years. Marty Ingalls began his career making numerous appearances on the small screen in guest star roles on series like The Ann Southern Show, the Phil Silver Show, The Dick Van Dyke Show. He ultimately appeared in commercials. He was on game shows. He co-starred in a sitcom in the 1962-63 season called I'm Dickens, He's Fenster. He also made numerous appearances on the big screen and traveled back into the guest star route on shows like The Love Boat. He was an entrepreneur. He started his own talent agency. And may he rest in peace, Marty Ingalls, dead at the age of 79. NBC is developing a potential new drama based on 1999 theatrical Cruel Intentions that starred Reese Witherspoon, Ryan Felipe, and Sarah Michelle Gellar. This is not an official series order, but the network is eyeing a Cruel Intentions drama for 2016. Over at Cable, ABC Family has announced it has picked up its Peabody Award-winning drama, Switched at Birth, for a fifth season. This will take Switched at Birth past the 100-episode milestone mark in 2016. TLC has announced that its reality series, The Seven Little Johnstons, will return on Tuesday, November 10th at 10 p.m. This features a family of seven who are little people and who are known in the world as being the largest family of little people. Also in a return date news, FYI has announced that the upcoming third season of Married at First Sight, its docuseries, will return on Tuesday, December 1st at 9 p.m. with an episode that will be two hours and 15 minutes in length. That's pretty long. They must have a lot to tell. Hulu, meanwhile, has announced a second season pickup of its recently introduced scripted sitcom, Casual, the network or the digital provider, has an, will order or will air 13 new episodes in 2016. And like the broadcast networks, you will get one episode per week. Hulu announced at the press tour in August it was no longer going to offer its shows as a binge-watching alternative. The football matchup on CBS Thursday Night Football this evening is the Seattle Seahawks at the San Francisco 49ers. Today in TV history, I'm going to take you all the way back to 1939, 76 years ago on this day. NBC aired the first televised professional football game. It was the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Brooklyn Dodgers. NBC at the time, the call letters were W2XBS, and that ultimately turned into WNBC. And also on this day, Chubby Checker did the twist on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1961. I was a little too young to remember that, but I do recall sitting in uh, my living room as a young child watching the Ed Sullivan Show. We all did. And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this 22nd day of October. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.